Hello everyone, welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. Happy Monday, everyone. I hope everyone is super excited. This is the week we have all been waiting for because now it's time to slob on the knob like corn on the cob. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. So today's topic, because you know, right before Steak and Blowjob Day, I start promoting it very heavily because I want everyone to know that this day is a real day. It actually exists. Steak and Blowjob Day is a thing. It is here. If you Google it, it exists. And it is worldwide, March 14th. So what I also experience is a lot of men start inboxing me, emailing me, commenting, she don't suck dick. Mm, mm, mm. She don't suck dick. Mm. Well, my response has always been, you picked her. You picked her. Whether you picked her to be your girlfriend, whether you picked her to be your wife, your life partner, you picked her. And... Sometimes we say, well, she don't do this, but she do all of this other stuff. And that's awesome. That's awesome. But what bothers me with men is you won't marry a provocative woman, but you will risk your family behind a provocative woman. Not act like you didn't catch that. You won't marry one but you'll go out in the street and go out in the streets and deal with one and risk everything that you're working for for a provocative woman. But you won't marry one. So my whole thing is this. You picked her. So this is not the time for you to start acting a fool. You already know when March 14th roll around, she's not sucking your dick. Because you picked her. You knew how she felt about it. And my job is not to put pressure on people or to make them feel bad because they don't do certain things sexually. Because there may be other things that she do sexually that you enjoy. I know a lot of women who don't suck dick, but they will give you anal sex whenever you want it. So sometimes you got to pick. They feel a certain type of way about oral sex, but you can get in that ass. And I know women that will suck your dick all day and you can't touch their ass. So my point is, sometimes you got to give to get. And another thing is, sometimes we have to make people feel comfortable sexually for them to do the things that we want them to do sexually. Meaning, sometimes you got to educate. Sometimes you got to get people there in a mental space to where they are willing to understand how important it is to please you in a certain way sexually because sometimes we meet people and we feel like well once i put the ring on her finger she gonna suck my dick once i get to the altar she gonna suck my dick once i marry her and make her my wife maybe after the after she see that it's real she gonna suck my dick but the thing is you have to know how this person feels about it from the beginning and then sometimes you have to introduce things to people in a way to where it is appealing to them because for some women it's just so derogatory but if you make it fun and exciting and appealing and you present something other than your hard dick for to put in her mouth she may say you know what i'm gonna give this a try sometimes you gotta introduce like real cute little stuff like Little door hangers. Like some people, I'm going to give you an example. Some people, okay with a gift. You can give them a gift. But some people, it's the presentation, the way you present it to them that sells them on it, that, that makes them more so exciting. In other words, if this whole idea is boxed up and wrapped up all pretty and it sounds fun and exciting, then maybe she's more likely to want to do it Versus you just shoving a hard dick in her face. 
Maybe you got to do certain things like, baby, look, I got you this real cute bib. This is so cute. It's fun now. I got you this real cute bib. We got the little door hanger to put on the door. And I got you these cute little uh, gummy pecker rings. I'm going to make the dick taste like a lifesaver candy. You're going to be able to decorate it and dress it up and do all the shit that you enjoy doing. You're making it fun. Or I bought you these teeth covers so that when you give a head, it feel like you ain't got no teeth in your mouth. You're making it fun and exciting. You're bringing something different. And that's the thing. A lot of times men don't understand that they have to be the ones sometimes to introduce something different. And we got to introduce things like, well, baby, you ain't got to put the whole, the whole thing in your mouth. Just put the head in your mouth. Just suck on the head of it. And it's not so intimidating because some women really do have bad gag, bad gag reflexes. And some women really do have certain things about it that triggers them, especially if they were violated in some type of way growing up. Um, especially if, you know, they have been assaulted sexually. It's all types of things that go on. So a lot of times when these women feel so strongly about oral sex, a lot of times there's an underlying issue. Sometimes they mama and drilled it in their head that you're going to be the hoe, the slut, the, the ain't nobody going to want you, dick don't belong in your mouth, it's not for reproduction. You know, you have people that drill this type of stuff in your head so they just have a messed up point of view when it comes down to it and they just don't want to do it. But what you got to do is start slowly bringing this and that and that. And before you know it, she going to be a dick monster. She going to be gobbling that dick up. But I just want you to understand that when you met her, you knew that she did not suck dick. So you can't be getting all upset. You can't get angry because what I hear is you didn't got impatient because she ain't to suck your dick now. You trying to get her to suck your dick. She won't do it. Now you mad. That's not going to get you any closer to getting your dicks up. All that's going to do is create a wedge in between y'all and your relationship. Because she's feeling like you're trying to force her to do something that she doesn't want to do. And you can't go on like I tell women because this is true. What you want to do, the next woman will. That is true. But I don't like for people to be in fear in a relationship Feeling like if I don't do this one thing, then he going to go over here. I just think that it has to be a lot of things that's going on that you're not doing for your man to stray. Like if the only thing you ain't doing is sucking his dick, but you affirming him, you, you building his confidence, you being supportive, you being all of these other things and you checking off all the other boxes, then him not getting his dick sucked should not be the reason he over there by... Mary Jane getting his dick slobbed on. Now, men, if you know that this is something important to you, this is how you know that it's important to you. If not getting your dick up will, will have you to go cheat and get it done somewhere else, that means it's important to you. So if not getting your dick suck is just that, I'm sorry, I'm saying it wrong. If getting your dick suck is just that important to you, then you need to choose wisely when you're picking somebody to be your life partner. When you're picking somebody to share your life with, choose wisely. Because it's supposed to be a deal breaker if you're willing to cheat to go get it done. Meaning she meet all these other check marks, but she don't do this, and you're willing to tear up your whole household behind it, she ain't the woman for you. Because you got to get with women who going to meet certain criteria to where you're not willing to tell up your whole household behind getting it done. I always say it. Men won't marry a hoe, but they'll show sure tell up their household behind one. They won't go out there and go get a woman that's provocative, but they'll tear their household up behind a provocative woman. Who willing to do the, the extra, the more, the this, the that. So my thing is, go out there and marry what you like. If you like a woman that done been around the block a couple of times, that's what you need to marry. Don't go get no woman who ain't got no experience and all of this because you like the idea of 
marrying a virgin or marrying a woman that's not experienced because you got more experience and all of this kind of shit. But then she get in the bed and she lay there and she don't do shit. And then you like, damn, she don't do nothing. She don't even try because you she don't know nothing. So that means that you got to be patient enough to teach her. And if you're not willing to teach her, then you need to go get you somebody that, that been around the block a couple of times and they can keep up with all the shit that you got going on. And that's just the truth. Now, if you got somebody who is just not with the program and you know that they not going to suck your dick and you know that this is something that you truly desire, come and get deep throat. Come on here and get deep throat. Deep throat, gone. Deep throat, vibrate, and stroke. All at the same time. Powerful vibrations. Ultra suction. Even the tongue vibrate. Okay? They got shit out there for you. You ain't got to go all over there, around the corner, behind the dumpster. Go and get people who going to tear your household completely up. You and her just come to the store and you say, look, baby, this is something that I truly desire. I really want my dick up. Y'all come to the store, come buy you uh, a little toy and get it done manually. Get it done by a toy. I'm just reading some of the stuff that it says. Um, it has lips, a tender tongue to welcome your shaft. Deep down a narrow, let me see, deep down a narrow throat that warms to your body temperature. The sturdy, durable exterior allows for a firm grip for forcible thrusting. Pinch the realistic nose for an exciting open and swallow fantasy. Come on now. This motherfucker say you can pinch her nose. Now let me tell you something. When I'm sucking, don't pinch my nose. I, I, you might fuck it all up. Don't pinch my nose. But on this one here, say you can pinch her nose and some old shit gonna happen when you get to pinch on her nose. Okay. Uh, this one is gonna come with a toy cleaner. It's going to come with a uh, lubricant and it's going to come with a uh, fancy flesh reviving powder. So, yes, this is here in stock at the PPG store. So, again, you met her. She don't suck dick. My response, stop inboxing me that. She don't do it. You picked her. What, what else am I supposed to tell you other than you picked her? She yours. That's the one that you pulled off the shelf. And said, this the one I want. So you just love your wife that don't suck dick. How about that? And you come in and you come and get you some shit like this here to handle the business. She may even enjoy putting your dick inside of this mouth. She may even talk to you while you're doing all of this. She may even get involved on this level. She's just not comfortable with it going in her mouth. I done heard women, especially when I have women that's um and that was in my mama age group that's 55 and up, 60. Oh, you put your dick in their mouth, they'll chew on it. Because they say if, if you put it in your mouth, it's got to be food. So, you know, you have women that really feel a certain type of way about it. And if that is the case, we don't throw them type of people to the side because they have other good qualities. They just don't want to suck your dick. Okay? Make it fun and exciting. Steak and Blowjob Day is March 14th this year. March 14th is around the corner. I'm doing my video a little early today because I'm about to get ready to do my steak and blowjob day photo shoot with Mr. Parker. Today, I'm super excited. We are so excited to um to put this photo shoot together for you all. We got the door hangers. Mm -hmm. We got the bibs. Endless supplies of gummy pecker rings and gum job here at the PPG store. Like, share, subscribe. The email address is below. My Instagram is below. The cash app is below. Now let's get into some real life shit. Okay. So, got a message this weekend. And the question was about this whole 
uh, little story that's going around on Facebook and Instagram. Tenyo has birthday party. Father is married. Tenyo's mother, who is not married to the father, says that his wife is not welcome to the birthday party. Father does not go to the birthday party. Was he wrong? I had to explain this to my children last night at family day because yesterday at family day, I always read these scenarios to them. You know why? Because we got to prepare our children for real life. When you marry somebody, you become one with them. Okay? I'm not going to go anywhere that my husband is not welcome. I don't care who house it is. If he not welcome, I'm not going. He not, if he can't come to the event, I'm not going to the event. This man did exactly what he was supposed to do because what they were trying to do was create division in his household. And he did not allow that to happen. Now, what he can do is throw his child a birthday party when it's time for, for him to, uh, to have her. They said the women in his family, mostly unmarried women, basically said that his wife should have been understanding. I say bullshit. I say you don't let nobody else come in and create division in your household. When you are married, you are one, you are a unit, you move as a unit. Will the child be upset? Yes. But when that child gets older, they will understand that they mama was on the bullshit. They mama was the one creating the division. It was their mama, not the father and his wife. Because see, one thing about our children, when they get older, they realize who was with the bullshit. So if, if you got an issue, you got to take that up with your mama. Okay? You all be blessed. You all be safe. And go get your COVID shot. I got my COVID shot. Go get your COVID shot. I did not have literally any side effects at all. I had none. I'm scheduled to go get my second shot at the end of the month. And I will be back in church in April. Cannot wait. I'm so excited to get back into the house of the Lord. I can do virtual church, but it ain't nothing like going into the house of the Lord. And for y'all who are on my YouTube, y'all know down south, we love the Lord, baby. We love church. We love us some Jesus. We love touching and agreeing. We love all that. If you get your woman from down south, she going to suck your dick and pray for y'all at the same time. Just understand that. It's just a down south thing. We 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 love us some. We, this the Bible Belt. So it is what it is. People say you can't have sex in Jesus. I beg to differ. You can have them both. He created sex to be amazing. He created our body parts to function. So he ain't mess up when he created all of this. Okay. All right, you all be blessed, you all be safe. Enjoy your Monday. All right.